Hello, and welcome back to The Invincible. Status? Nothing's changed, Astrocator. Understood. Okay, buddy. Where are you hiding? He's near. Yasta, back already. I I found Milos. So quickly. Where are they? Tell me what's going on. Yes, sir. You have to tell him. <sighs> Calm down. I'll tell you everything. Maybe you should sit. Come on, talk to me. I don't want to sit down. <sighs> There's no more Milos. Nor those he was transporting, nor anyone else. There's only the three of you left. But you can't possibly know that. How could you? You're right. I'm not sure. But what I do know is that no one has come to help you for the last 428 days. What are you talking about? You've broadcast your morning message to Milos this many times. It, it seems that every night you forget what happened during the day. 400. I'm sorry to bring such news, Doctor. but I want to help. You don't have to wait any longer. Hey, to interrupt, but we have a problem. The cloud is coming. Right now? Yes. It's closing in on you. Hurry, Doctor. Copy that. Is that one of yours? What does he want? It's our astrogator. He's warning us of the approaching cloud. Quick, get us to the hideout. Now, move! Can it get through the force field? Hey, hey! What are you trying to do? I'm done waiting. There's no need to anymore. There's no one left to look for. All that's left is revenge. Astrogator, I think he wants to fight. What the fool? Can't you stop him somehow? He'll cause trouble for both of you. I don't think so. He's already opened the field. I see. You can't beat him, join him. You have a much better chance of surviving if you stick together. Hey, Yasna! What's this? You familiar with the energy transformation of Dirac emitters? Uh... uh... Thought so. He misses energy. Where's the Here, helicopter? take it. You can help. By shooting. I'll take care of maintaining the force field. When you aim, wait for the green light. Then you can take the shot. The device is connected to three combat machines. Okay. It sounds simple. Check, check. Hey, over. Let's stay in touch. Copy that. He's getting closer. I don't see it. Soon it'll be within range of the gun. It's coming from the east. Over the hill. A, a 
Affirmative. I see it. expect anyone on the ship to have survived. Do you? I'm not that naive. I need the condor itself. In order to... 
have the entire arsenal of our flagship at our disposal. We might be losing now, but it doesn't mean we can give up. We'll send the Cyclops out to fight. Cyclops? Uh, that's a code name for... It's more of a moniker. For an 80-ton machine with firepower exceeding all intimates combined. We usually use it in conditions of high radiation, contamination, enormous pressures and temperatures. Due to the interference of the force field, it floats several feet above the ground. So it doesn't depend on the surface. In addition to the Dirac's force field, it has an antimatter spherical blaster. And it has the most advanced electronic brain at our disposal. Defeat is not an option. Uh, wait! Haven't you had enough? It might be time to hide and consider other options. You must be kidding. I'm not going to sit on my ass in the dark. Now I finally know what happened? I, I see you're not going to listen to me either. Because there's nothing to talk about. Look, I've given you a simple choice, Yasta. Are you going or not? Go where there could be water, medicine, resources, or stay here to die. Wow, such a hard choice. I hope I won't regret it. Too bad you didn't mention earlier that you had a working saucer. We could fly to Condor right away, or even into orbit. Working is a big word. It's just a tin can with a couple of sputtering engines. Controlling it technically doesn't work. <sighs> Somehow it does not surprise me. Let's fly. Just a minute. I'm waiting for the force field to shut down, which should be soon. He's not here. Reitra? He took his men to the ship. They're inside now. You had rather a hard landing. How do you know all this? Well, I heard him talking to them. To you. <sighs> Didn't he notice I wasn't responding? Yes, he did. He said he'd be back. If he expected me to wait here, he's sorely mistaken. It's impressive. The Condor? Yes. Uh, it looked majestic in the pictures. In real life, too. I think I know where a hitcher is. It's to be expected that we'll lose communications as soon as you enter the cargo bay. Sure thing. So many tons of steel. Indeed. You'll have to establish a connection using one of the devices on the ship. I'm sure you'll find one in the command bridge. I'll find that radio. No worries. Huh. So that's their marvel of military technology. Rich will waste no time. Is it attacking already? For now, he's only released the Cyclops, as they call it. The hell is he think? <laughs> it's floating majestically, three meters above the ground. Ah. What does it look like? I must admit that I haven't seen any pictures of the Cyclops. The Alliance tried to keep its existence a secret, so there are a lot of unsubstantiated legends about it. For a machine of destruction? Quite inconspicuous, I'd say. Sort of like a massive, heavily armed spinning top. Spinning top? Hmm. That's unexpected. If only we could get hold of its blueprints. This is hardly the time, Astrogator. Yes, yes. Another time. Now you need to focus on finding Rahitra. There's one more thing, Yasta. And this is important. I'll be able to confirm it in a while, but so far everything indicates... What is it, Astrogator? Headquarters were right about the Invincible. It's actually flying here. If I'm reading the message correctly, they'll be here in a few days. They're looking for the missing Condor. And they have no idea of the danger. So our mission made no sense from the start. We wanted to outplay the Alliance. 
But instead, we got ourselves into the same trouble. We still don't know everything. But yes, they're on a rescue mission. Cargo hold. somehow. What are you muttering? I can't hear you clearly. <laughs> Rahitra, come on. Don't be silly. Over and out. Rahitra. Oh. So big, but I think we can use this one.
minor announcement given to the general public courtesy of the command. Important. Lost a Delbana brand watch with a starfish-like dial face, in the family for four generations, repaired once by, the, by a father who was a watchmaker. Worn by his astrophysicist son, the phenomenon of cosmic time dilation does not diminish the sentimental value of the object, nor, according to current research, does it give any chance to go back in time and not lose the artifact. The kind finder is therefore asked to return it. Jarko, second desk astrophysicist.